Dolby Vision Gaming has arrived on the Xbox Series. In this video we're talking about how to activate Dolby Vision on your console and I will share of course my first impression in terms of Dolby Vision in games. Enjoy! Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Armok for All. Dolby Vision Gaming, how to activate it, I will show you step by step. So we're starting with settings menu and we go to our TV and display options video mode and we make sure that our low Dolby Vision is ticked, okay? So that's the easy part. So now we need to update our console to the latest alpha or beta firmware, okay, software. So to do this we need to be, uh, we need to download the Xbox Insider Hub. So how to do it? We go to the Microsoft Store, we go to search and we just type in Insider, okay? And it should come on the top. So you download Xbox Insider Bundle. When you have done this, then we opening up the app and now I have to explain something. So under preview and Xbox update preview, this is where we have to change the update channel. But to do this, okay, let me start. So in the beginning when you start Insider Hub the very first time, you just have one channel, the preview Omega channel. But we need to have the preview Delta channel which includes the latest update with Dolby Vision, okay? So on this channel, there is not the right update, okay? So now to understand how to activate this Delta channel is we need to reach level two, yes. So have a look at my profile. We have experience point and also we have a level system in the Insider Hub. So how to increase it? You have to answer surveys and do some quests. Very easy, don't, don't get in panic, panic, it's very, very easy. So, oh, wrong button, of course. So, under preview and I think activities, uh, when you start with, for the very first time, you have a lot uh, like surveys, what you can answer. And within one or two minutes, you easily reach level two. And with level two, you can change your channel to the Delta channel, which you need to get the latest update, okay? So, when you have done this, you jump out, and you go back to your settings menu and we go to system and we go to updates. So now your console should tell you that there is a new update available because now you're on a different software channel, okay? So before you update, keep in mind, this is alpha, beta, not 100% tested software, okay? It can be in the worst case, in the absolutely worst case, it can be that you have to set your console back to factory settings, okay? Absolutely worst case, okay? So just telling you, okay, keep this in mind, but when you go and update the console, Microsoft will tell you this again, okay? So do the update and then you're actually good to go and play games in Dolby Vision. Okay, our first game in Dolby Vision is grounded on the Xbox, Xbox Series X, by the way, and that's how it looks like and it looks fantastic. So I'm not missing anything in terms of brightness so far. By the way, again, my TV is updated to the latest software firmware here in Australia, 03.21.21. Some people saying with this update they uh, lost brightness and the picture looks duller. I made already a video, I can't confirm this at all. After the update, my TV is has the same brightness as before, okay? But this is a 65 inch, it can be that maybe the 55 inch or the 48 or the 77 inch has an issue, but my 65 inch has no issue after the update. This is the picture, it looks fantastic. So I will do a comparison videos or some comparison videos uh, with Dolby Vision versus HGHG, dynamic tone mapping and so on of course. But so far what I understand is that Dolby Vision is working like more likely as HGHG. So it will not change dynamically the brightness from the TV. It will just stay at the, the same brightness as HGHG, okay? So of course there is for sure a difference between those modes. But at the moment I'm not sure which one of course is better. So far I can just tell it looks fantastic. I mean grounded on the Xbox is anyway uh, a great game in terms of HDR. By the way, the PC version has no HDR. Maybe I will do a video about this as well. So, which is a shame because this is the picture what you get. Uh, just great, just great. And I played this game already a couple of times in normal HDR with HGHG dynamic tone mapping. 
so far I can't see a difference but of course it's very hard to compare if you don't have yeah, a second TV and you can actually really compare. Anyway, I will do comparison videos with this game for sure and now let's jump to a different game. Halo the Master Chief Edition has one of the best HDR implementation in a game what I have seen so far. Really, really great. Look at this picture. Look at this brightness from, from this picture, from this lamps or whatever this is. It is just amazing. And again, this is Dolby Vision and I'm not missing anything in terms of brightness. Not at all. Look at this. This is just fantastic at the moment. I love it. This is how HDR should look like. Very, very bright, almost too bright because it is very, very heavily bright. Maybe I should measure this actually at some point, how much candela we're talking about. But this is just fantastic. Come on, open this. Where are we going? Oh, okay. Oh, I love it. Have a look on, this, on these lamps here. How bright they are. They're looking absolutely great. There's nothing... Um, what I can see at this very moment, which I would miss in terms of maybe, let's say like this, more details or whatever. But again, I will try to compare this with HGHG or dynamic tone mapping to find out actually if Dolby Vision is showing the same details in um, spectacular highlights. But this will be a different video. Okay, so right now we're just really focusing on the first impression. Oh my God, okay, I should move. But anyway, okay, let's move to a different game. Resident Evil Village is the last game what we're testing today with Dolby Vision and again it looks fantastic. It also looked fantastic with HGHG, don't get me wrong. But this is also really great. Look at this. This is just... I almost think that Dolby Vision is making the picture a little bit more vibrant, you know, more, yeah, more powerful. I, I don't know how to explain it actually, but it looks, it looks fantastic. I really love it. This is just just very, very nice. I'm not missing anything in terms of brightness, not at all. And also when you go into darker areas, it's actually just fine. I mean, in this level, there's not much to, yeah, to look at in terms of yeah, very bright objects. I'm not sure if there are enemies or monsters yeah I think so there's some something huh? because I'm just walking around here 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 see yeah without sound it's very hard actually yeah this game okay maybe let's ah, come on go away I have to kill this guy before shit where is he here let me yes that was good so again oh this looks really nice okay Dolby Vision so far, a big, big surprise for me. But again, maybe it's the same like HGHG, okay? So we need to wait, wait till I did my comparison video because I really like to know if there's a advantage from Dolby Vision over HGHG. Okay, so that's for this video today. A very quick video about Dolby Vision on the Xbox Series X. In my case, Xbox Series X, of course, it's also on the Xbox Series S. And I'm very surprised so far. I couldn't find any issue with, yeah, I tested a little bit more than just three games, of course, but very short testing, of course. I will do a proper comparison video in the next couple of days. So make sure if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. You would do me a big, big favor. And yeah, leave me a like, leave me a comment. What do you think about the Dolby Vision? And maybe just put in the comments also if you have any games what I should test in terms of Dolby Vision. And no worries at all. I already calibrated the Dolby Vision gaming mode and I will upload and post this video soon as well. Okay. So again, thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time. Bye.